as we have already set up these controls, uh, the only thing we need to know to do is move ten. That's it. To give us a position to start adjusting everything. So come over here to envelopes and select this guy's envelope and switch vertices on and start doing this. Okay, I will select the whole eyelashes. Now this, and I am going to set a way to one for all of this, and also for the vertices here, right in the edge, and the ones inside. Now, uh, it's average, this guy's, and this will take a while, uh, you only have to uh, adjust your weight so it starts to look right. Well, more or less. And the same thing for the lower and in the other side. And so, uh, as this might take a while, I will stop the video again and uh, go to a state where I have everything set up properly. And we'll see how to uh, bind the movement of the eye with the eyelids too. So I think I kind of finished my work in the uh, waiting the upper lid. Uh, all right, all right. Looks nice, and I'm going to do the same thing with the lower now. Now, right now is it's kind of broken. I also kind of finish uh, adjusting weight in the lower lid, but as you see now, uh, uh, the movement that I create with the control seems a bit strange. So I'm, I'm bringing back the reaction manager and adjusting it again. So to do this, I will select this. Okay. Right eyelid, the one that's got uh, lower eyelid behind it, and um, change this. Well, I'm, I'm going to first move the control so that it goes to one of its strings. And this will correspond, correspond to this last state here. So I will edit it. Go and select the bone. That's right. And select the state too. And Fix it. I don't want this guy to open more than this. And for the upper, 
for the other type of movement, close, closing movement, I'm taking the control to the other side and adjusting it to move this guy up. Okay, this way will be the topmost position. So it's more or less right. I can close my eyes. More or less. Uh, maybe I need to adjust a bit better the the weighting. So uh, as you see now, one of the eyelashes uh, passes through the other, and that's not right. So I better tweak it. Come again over here and add a bit more, more weight in these vertices for the upper lid. Ah, uh, no, not this one. This guys, this two guys. Actually, what I need is to subtract something. Okay. That looks right. Looks about right. You probably have to tweak it a lot to make it look perfect. Well, more, more or less, you can see that it's working. So, the next thing is uh, binding the eye control to, uh, to give uh, an extra rotation to the eyelid so uh, that it follows along. And it's the last part. And to do this, I will add another controller uh, to my eyelids. An extra controller. We added one already. Okay, and we need uh, another to create this nice offset, offset that will groove when the eyeball moves. So, uh, add another one. Euler X. Y C rename it as I up I follow for example it's a good name set it active cool and the same thing for every eyelid once again. So now we have to uh, come into every every C rotation property here in the I follow uh, controls we've just set and set this to be a uh, linear float uh, that's it float expression that's right and this will open up this dialog um we will use it to uh, create a new expression that will make the eyelid follow the uh, do the same rotations as the uh, eyeball bone uh, makes, but only in a percentage. So to do this, I will create a couple of variables here using this upper left part. 
and we will call this uh, eyeball eyeball C rotation C rot create set this to a scalar create it 